watch your thoughts. Gohan versus Goku. Caillou first. Caillou first. Stop. I, I feel like we talked about that last episode. No, 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 no. Gonna cut. We're gonna, we're gonna. I already know what I said. Go ahead, Kai. Are you, are you seriously asking me this shit right now? Bro. <laughs> <laughs> I want you to. I want you to. I'm just cheesing. <laughs> oh, <geez. laughs> <laughs> are you for fucking real? Yo, yo. I'm, okay, okay. I think I'm gonna have to read the head ass for this to make sense. Why I'm even asking this in the first place. Oh, I'm actually crying. Hold on. <laughs> <sighs> okay. That's the comment I read earlier, yo. Oh my god. Did you post it in the head ass section I earlier did. yet? Oh, I think it. I read it then. I don't. Go ahead. Go ahead. <clears throat> Okay. Well, Broly is not that strong during this timeline, though, so Cell Max is not that much of a threat even completed. Beast Gohan is stronger than Broly during this point. If Cell Max was completed, then how could Broly matter when he can skip right to Gohan's level? They haven't even got to Moro yet. Wait, when who can skip right to Gohan's level? <laughs> Bro, who, like, how do these people orchestrate these sentences? I like, <laughs> like, like, not, like, my whole brain just went... Blank. Yeah, I'm, I feel like I'm trying to solve a puzzle more than a, <laughs> as, like answer a question. <laughs> well, the only thing I got out of that is he's basically he's he's just saying Broly's not as strong as Beast Gohan. Which like that whole Beast Gohan shit, I can't. Isn't I still I still have a problem with all that that whole form, the name, all of that. And everybody, everyone to come out here and literally all these Gohan heads coming out the fucking closet protecting Gohan like he's been number one since day one. Shut the fuck up. And this whole B <laughs> shit, y'all want to be like, oh, no, it makes sense. You see, because ever since he was a kid, he's had that beast within him and he just went. No, nigga. That's called <laughs> Saiyan instinct. That's called Ozaru. That's called primal instinct. That's called all this shit that every Saiyan has within them. Gohan's not special. He's a half-breed. His emotions got triggered harder than all the other Saiyans, but it's still Saiyan blood that is coursing through those veins. That's what that shit is. It is not special to him. Get the fuck out of here. Yo, did y'all ever realize that... I don't believe Gohan has ever been in a situation where he has went beyond his limits like by himself without seeing somebody that he cares about like be close to death or died. That's correct because like, all the Goku, times like, because, he did it was forcibly unlocked. Because because Goku has been in this position plenty of times and he's showing why he's that nigga. But Gohan has only ever transformed for himself and went beyond his limits when he saw somebody die that he cared about or uh somebody that's like severely injured almost close to death aka like piccolo in this last movie type shit that's the only reason why he went beast like imagine if it was just one-on-one -on -one him and fucking cell max or whatever would he have done it by himself like like goku probably would because he would be close to closer to death like you see, you see what i'm saying here like this is exactly why Goku is my man's. <laughs> and hey. this is why I say Gohan will not beat Goku in a one on one full power. No way. So, yeah, that's that's why I'm glad you brought him back up because we have to. Th this is the circle around back to the original question, right? Because that comment, the reason why I had to read that shit is to obviously exemplify the nonsense that is out there when it comes to, you know, any of this, right? I've been seeing a lot, like the nonsense ratio has gone through the roof since this oh, movie came oh out. Yeah. Oh yeah. It's oh, insane. Yeah. It's cause they're yeah. listening to fucking Toriyama's bullshit. And they're, and they're no, they are. And they're believing every they're single believing thing. Yeah, yeah. Like, they're like, not, they're not, they're not just looking at the data and comparing 
actual <laughs> shit. Like, like literally the last on the last episode, I literally stated that Broly is definitely. I I still believe would still be stronger than Beast Gohan just because. If you go back to the fucking Broly movie, Broly was up against fucking Gogeta, Super Saiyan Blue. Right. Like, and and even though he got his ass whooped at that point in time, he still forced Goku and Vegeta to fuse. Yeah. In their Super Saiyan Blue forms and shit like that. Right. Like, so. Like that's all the math you gotta do to to kind of understand where, like, what you're trying to talk about here. Like. I've I have mentally thought about this for years. Okay. Of the of 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 Broly's situation, right? The fact that he's a freak, a monster, literally. He's a he was born, and that's the thing that people I don't understand why they don't get. Like they they compare him to everybody else. Like he's he was he was brought up the same way, and he wasn't. Like imagine. Like okay, this is this is this is probably a, another weird ass analogy that should just make sense off rip. Okay, you're playing Pokemon, you have an egg. There's a Pokemon in that egg. The egg hatches, and the fucking Pokemon is level one thousand. Guess what? In a game where the max level is one hundred, you're not fucking hatching a level one thousand Pokemon. But that one level one level, that level one thousand Pokemon is Broly. If that doesn't make sense to people, can't help you. Just can't. Like we still don't know the comparison between like like a Broly Super Saiyan. You can you can argue out of control or not out of control, whatever. Like we don't we still haven't had that discussion or seen like a Ultra Instinct or Ultra Ego against like a Broly of that caliber. So we don't know like yeah, no. actually what type of like what type of level Broly is on, outside of seeing him fighting gogeta like super saiyan blue like, well we so here's and, here's the thing like that's it i wanna i wanna just make this clear right because i don't want because this is a gohan versus goku question right yeah, yeah 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 we like broly is always gonna be a measuring stick i even said this in my cell in cell max video i was like i think it's funny that even toriyama is gonna try to throw broly's name in there to me to to literally be a measuring stick to exemplify how strong Cell Max was supposed to be. Correct? Correct. Right? And so guess what? People forgot, I guess, that it was Goku and Vegeta solo. They couldn't handle this guy. They went Super Saiyan Blue, couldn't handle this guy. They had to retreat for an hour. Come back as a whole new person. As one being. Just to fucking defeat him. Like, just to get the upper hand, right? But either way, this is about Gohan versus Goku. Gohan is misled. You want to know how I know he's misled? Because he hasn't seen his dad or Vegeta fight or train in a very, very long time. And the other thing that I'm sure people are going to try to throw at us is, oh, but Gohan has been low-key training. For what?! Though well, he's he's he saw the whole tournament of power uh un, like unfold. Yeah, he saw that. But see, and that's the another thing. That line that he said low key almost conflicts with that moment. Because he saw his dad like yo, he saw his dad and Vegeta. My man Vegeta went blue Gatorade diamond on the spot and then <laughs> and then Goku he went what? First ultra instinct and then mastered within the same tournament right so if unless he was too busy in the books that he fucking forgot about that shit this new form is his beast form is just the confidence talking it's the confidence like oh yeah look at me i haven't gotten into some new shit since i was a kid literally you know what i'm saying like and 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 and, and what, what the cool part is right geekdom did a video of course and he talked about how this form was teased all the way back in Z. Because when he went in his ultimate form, he had a similar aura. And I was like, okay, that's cool. Did it, I, I haven't rewatched Z in so fucking long. But he got that, right? And even so, and even so, Gohan's not fucking beating his dad, bro. 
they don't uh, like you you can tell you can have the whole dragon ball table on this fucking podcast and try to tell me otherwise and then i will okay. literally tell them individually how none of them have any fucking idea what they're doing easily that uh, could be constructive i don't gotta tell them like i don't have to be rude like that but i'll be like oh so so all of this time and all of this character development and all of this all of this time that he hasn't been doing anything like because let's face it he could we I, we call it studying we call it working we call it being a dad and all this other shit like i've been defending gohan and his character for the entirety of this character's fucking livelihood but now we're at a point where the creators are reckless in saying what they're saying about this guy. And I'm like, no, no, it doesn't match now, right? You can't give me somebody that came up talented, put in situations for, that literally forced his ass to go and get stronger, to defeat who they had to defeat. Then you, get, then you put him on the shelf for seven years. Then you put him in a superhero costume. Then you have his girlfriend get snatched. Then you have him sit in front of an old ass motherfucker reading Jump to unlock his shit, who then still couldn't get the job done. More time is off. Comes back. They didn't even want him. They didn't even want him. Goku lost. He was like, ah. Look at look at how he looked in the Resurrection F movie. In oh the fucking tracksuit. You guys think I've been oh I'm like I'm a Gohan apologist? Get the fuck out of here. I'm a real one. I keep it real 100 with all my characters. Okay? And Gohan, listen, it's not even I'm not even mad at Gohan. I'm mad at the fucking creators because they've lost sight. This is the point that I've been trying to I've been trying to drive, man. The, long, the longer this shit stays around, this is how more this is how much more reckless it's gonna get. And because of that, that's why I started watching Super Dragon Ball Heroes again. I reacted to the most recent three episodes. And you know what's so funny? This should be a game. This should be a game that the three of us should have. I swear, we will have so much fun. Hear me out. <laughs> this would be a fucking hilarious time, okay? How long can you go without asking a question? How long can you go without <laughs> questioning a single thing that happens in those fucking things? Because, yo, Bro, go, I already lost. I already go, lost. Yo, go and watch my fucking reaction. I did three, the first three episodes in that jump. The first three, and I had to stop myself. I'm like, I can't ask questions. I can't ask questions. I'm so <laughs> I can't ask questions, right? <laughs> Even when, the, yo, and the funny part is, I got people in the comments that are so much funny. They're so much nicer to me about Super Dragon Ball Heroes. Imagine that. They literally, I was like, why the fuck is Yamcha even here? Someone literally was like, oh, the reason why he's here is actually because in the game, he's a good support card. Okay, thanks. I, uh, but yo, you see what I mean? <laughs> support card? He's a support nah. card. <laughs> So he's now in the anime. Like, like, yo, when you see a trailer, not even a trailer, when you see an opening, right? That's like a, you, that's like a little foreshadowing of what you're going to see in the season, right? When you see all the characters that are going to be involved. And you know, remember, remember, remember the tournament of power shot where they have like all the, all the universe fucking seven walking up, right? Dude, now imagine the super Drag dragon ball heroes levels of that shit where you're seeing this fucking guy, this Xeno character, this motherfucker. And Yamcha's in there, in the middle. Just, he looks so out of place. And what's even worse, and I also said this, I was like, how awkward is it? And, and I learned this the hard way by seeing it myself. How awkward is it to see Yamcha without Tien and then also without Yamcha, uh, Chaozu? Because whenever you see Yamcha, you always see those motherfuckers. And they're not in any sight whatsoever. First of all, I would rather TN over Yamcha. That's number one. <laughs> Chaozu is a fucking a bean, bozo, whatever. Yamcha, psh, Yamcha lost it all. <laughs> moral of all of this. Yeah, Yamcha. Oh moral God. of all of this. Logic will always be above what is just plainly put in front of you. People have to learn constructive criticism. They have to learn how to analyze, okay? And y'all have to just 
you have to you cannot just believe everything you see you can't not with this not with this anime no, no. you cannot because it's dangerous i'm sorry i just don't believe in constructive criticism man trolling shout outs to that fucking dude who said that shit to us last week by the way i'll give you the good alerts because that had us laughing very hard not bob marcus in levels of thriving ozaru okay not like that okay bob marcus is up here okay oh my lord oh that's that good shit